Hi everyone, my name is Ashanti and welcome to Uniquely Ashanti's Corner. And if you're new to my page, welcome and I hope you enjoy the content and you stay. And if you're a returning supporter, thank you so much for stopping by and you're greatly appreciated. Today I'm doing a requested video from one of my longtime supporters uh, whose name is Rita R. She requested for me to do a video that share some tips on how to share uh, the Word of God with others, which I thought was a great, great idea. Um, I created a little list for me to reference to. And with that being said, let's get started. So number one, pray for courage and guidance. One of the things that hinders one from spreading the Word of God is fear. They fear that people will think that they're weird. Some people feel that they're too shy. Uh, they're worried that they'll lose friends or followers on social media. They worry that they won't remember something. And the remembering aspect is what gets me personally. So you're not alone. God's word is something that everyone should hear. And they can't hear it until we open our mouths, right? Ask God for strength to share his awesome word with others to lead you to the right material to direct someone to and to retain what you learn, which leads me to my next tip, which is tip number two, read your Bible. I know this one's pretty obvious, but we all need this reminder. I mean, how are we supposed to spread the word of God if we don't know what we're talking about? And I know how it can be a struggle to read consistently with our busy lives getting in the way. It's something I'm currently dealing with and I have got to do better with it. I got to do better with that. And when I say read the Bible, I don't mean for you to just skim it quickly or um, to treat it as a homework assignment where you're like, okay, I read it. Now let me go do something else. No, you have to actually take the time out of your day to sit down and study the Bible to make sure that you fully understand its contents. And if you need tips on how to read and study the Bible, I have a video up about that and I'll link it down in the uh, description box so you can easily access it after you watch this. Uh, tip number three, be prepared to be challenged. You're going to come across those who want to debate you about what the Bible is saying, what God approves and disapproves of. And this is why it's so important to make sure that you're, that you know what you're talking about. Um, because people will purposely try to twist your words around. Well, not twist your words around, but twist the words of the Bible around to suit their own needs or they simply haven't grasped the full meaning because no one showed them. And I know this is a situation that many of us aren't comfortable being in, including myself, I'm not going to lie, but sooner or later it's going to happen to you and you can't run away from it. But if someone is clearly set, dead set on what they believe is right the best thing for you to do is just to walk away and pray for them because debating back and forth is not going to get you anywhere uh tip number four use social media this is a great opportunity to reach out and inter interact with many people across the world in order to spread the word of god if you make videos on youtube you can create videos that share favorite scriptures um a thought of the day from a godly perspective or even addressing questions that your viewers might have if you have social media platforms like twitter facebook instagram you can post something like a scripture of the day and talk a little bit about what that verse means to you and how it applies to your life. These are just a few ways of how you can spread the word on social media. Uh, tip number five, share how God has impacted your life. A lot of people who aren't Christians have this notion that we always have everything together and that your record has to be squeaky clean in order for God to acknowledge you, which is far from the truth. Tell people about how you came to God, the various emotions that you went through, obstacles you encountered. When you're real with someone, you show that you're the only, that you're, I don't know why I keep messing up. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm a little tired. You show that you're only human 
just like them and you show that God doesn't expect you to be perfect. We all fall short of his grace every single day and yet he still rains his love on us. You want to make it clear to people that it's not easy being Christian. Christians still face temptation. They still lose their temper when they're dealing with those who get on their everlasting nerve and they have moments where they become distant from God. But the reason why Christians keep their faith in Christ through their worst moments is because they understand that you have to go through the storm in order to see the sunshine and to grow stronger both spiritually and mentally. And most importantly, the reason why Christians continue to seek Christ is because they know that when their time on earth is expired, they'll be able to spend eternity in heaven with our Heavenly Father where there's no more pain, no more suffering. Uh, tip number six, be consistent and be patient. It's important to remember that everyone's journey is different and it takes some people longer to come to Christ than others. This is something that's frustrating sometimes, I know, but it's like my father has always told me, you can't give up on people because where would we be if God gave up on us? Ask God for patience and continue to reach out to people no matter how long it takes. Continue to have faith because you can do it. I know you can. Tip number seven, direct people to favorite Christian songs and movies. You can do this through your social media sites or you can use word of mouth. Briefly tell people what the movie or song is and how it has impacted your life. Speaking of movies, two Christian movies that I would recommend for anyone is God's Not Dead and War Room. God's Not Dead shows how we as Christians should be courageous when it comes to standing up for our beliefs and War Room shows the great and awesome power of prayer. Also, I haven't seen these movies yet, but there's a uh, God's Not Dead 2 and God's Not Dead 3. I didn't even know there was a third movie until I saw a trailer recently on YouTube. So check those out when you get the chance and I hope you enjoy them. Uh, tip number eight. When spirits are down, use God to lift them up. If someone comes to you and expresses sadness, stress, or anger about things going on in their lives and they're seeking advice from you, this is the perfect opportunity to share the word with someone by directing them to some of your favorite uplifting Bible scriptures you go to when you're discouraged. And I'm not saying you're only supposed to approach someone when they're distressed because you have to share the word with someone when they're, they're happy, when they're, they're sad, no matter what the emotion you share with them. Uh, tip number nine don't be preachy. Some Christians think that the best way to get through to someone is to shove the material down someone's throat and just keep referring to them, uh, referring them, sorry, to verse after verse after verse after verse after verse. But what they fail to realize is that when they do this, they're actually pushing people further away from God, which is what we don't want. You don't want to portray yourself as holier than thou. Just lead by example, by allowing people to see how you live a godly lifestyle, you lead by example. Uh, tip number 10, find subtle ways to spread the word of God. One example I can think of is a method that one YouTuber shared on her channel, a young woman who has been a great supporter of my channel for a while named Keisha LeRae. Uh, she talked about how she handed out small boxes of, you know, those little raisins. Um, I think usually like little young children are you know, given those, but you know, adults can eat it too. Uh, but anyway, she handed out those small boxes of raisins to people she randomly came across that included Bible verses and uh, information about her YouTube channel. And I thought this was a great idea because it'll catch someone's curiosity and it might lead them to learning more about who God is. So finding ways to reach out to someone without being too pushy is a great way to approach this. And last but not least, tip number 11, understand that not everyone's going to be saved. This tip is kind of a part two to tip number six, where I said to be patient and consistent. In addition to coming across those who take longer to come to Christ, 
you're also going to come across those who just don't want to hear about it at all. They're set in their own ways and they are completely closed off to the idea of allowing Jesus into their hearts. And that's the reality of things. Not everyone's going to be saved and the Bible shows us that. So don't automatically think that you're a failure and that God's disappointing you because he knows your heart and he is very, very proud of you, of your efforts. You just have to distance yourself from those type of people and pray that God will help them and continue to spread the word to others. And that brings me to the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Sorry that there were little fumbles in between. I'm a little tired. <laughs> just got through with a summer semester and I am trying to get my mind back on track. You know, you guys know how college is. <laughs> Very tiring. Um, and a huge thank you to Rita R. for requesting this video topic. I appreciate your ongoing support and I hope this was helpful to you, Rita, along with everyone else who tuned in. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, if you're looking for tips on how to study the Bible, I can link that in the description box so you can go check my previous video on that. I did that a few months ago, so go check that out if you haven't done so already. Feel free to leave your thoughts down below and if you guys have more tips on how to spread the word of God, please leave that in the comments as well. Let's help each other out and start some dialogue. And as always, please uh, refrain from profane language, even if it's an abbreviation, please be respectful. Uh, what else am I forgetting? Oh yeah, if you have a video request or just a general suggestion for a topic that I can cover in a future video, leave that in the comments as well and I'll get back to you on that as soon as possible. I welcome it. God bless each and every single one of you and have a wonderful day.